So here is today's project which I'll be working on, it's a Honda valve cover and I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing and not just throw spray paint on and it's good. And also I'll be uh, doing this black and uh, grinding off this edge so you can actually take these covers off without taking off the valve covers. So first things first, we gotta get rid of this heinous red paint which is peeling off, it's garbage. So some nice like 180 grit, 300 grit sandpaper somewhere around there depending on how crappy your valve car is and first things first remove all the seals all the bullshit take it off get the cap off and then start grinding once you've cursed the day you were born from grinding on this for too long you're left with a wall cover that's nicely smooth and there's not much paint left but best would be to sandblast it but other than that this is pretty good so now we're gonna use epoxy primer which is gonna make your paint stick to this awesome and it's never coming off again. It's done. God damn, it looks good. I hope you can see the sparkle. So this thing is done, what I did was, after it was painted, sanded out the letters, used 2K, two component, clear coat, clear coated everything so it's rock solid, don't use the regular clear coat, that shit never hardens, it's not good, but this is solid, it'll never scratch and shit so, it's pretty much perfect and now, I have some brand new Victor Ryan's hardware, gotta put these on, the bolts and new gasket and new spark plug seals, then we'll throw it on. Ready to put it on, you just clean all the surfaces so it's nice, you just use some like wall mesh whatever, clean it up and uh, you're gonna need a little gasket maker so you're gonna put a little dab on each corner of the caps here because this is where it always leaks, like here and here. So you can see on the gasket like right here just put a little drop here on each corner, put it on, tighten it all down, wait for it to dry a bit, and then you're ready. Okay, now the, the, now that the valve car is perfect, the car is already in the air, what we're doing today is solving the most annoying issue with this thing is the stupid squeak, so I believe it's the intermediate shaft bearings, so I got this from, got this stuff from Feebest, these guys are like from Estonia or something, and the shipping is incredible, this literally came to Slovenia like, I don't know, thousand kilometers away in under 24 hours, so crazy good, it's pretty cheap. Got the bearing for like 14 bucks, got both drive shaft seals for 8 each. Then we also got SKF Universal CV boots, brand new. And we also got one CV joint for the other side that's clicking. So we're gonna do all of this today. Hopefully replace this bearing, get rid of the squeak, and then we can rip some toge. Little update on the axles. So for the past few days I've been really struggling with the stupid axles. I've ordered all new parts. And I started assembling, I put like new uh, boots on, got those, then I also bought a new outer CV joint and of course it didn't fit even though I ordered by a Honda catalog so they screwed me and then I was searching for new ones because then I figured out both of the outer ones were shot so luckily I got brand new OEM Honda ones right here. My parts guy hooked me up like always if you're watching you know who you are like real legend you pretty much provided half of the parts for the damn car so i got brand new others 
Dinners, uh, I guess they'll be fine for now because they're like 50 bucks each and I don't want to spend that much. So for right now, those are going to stay. I'm going to replace the outers. This was also the noise that was the screeching in the last video. So as you can see, as you can see this damn seal on the outside, it's completely destroyed. So the ring that goes around like a dust ring or whatever for the bearing wasn't holding on. So when you were turning, it would hop off, it would go like this and it would screech like crazy. So that was it. I took it off, went for a drive, it was perfect, so also painted the axle because as you can see it started to rust here, it was already getting thinner, so this is a common Honda problem, this rust out and they snap. So inners, I guess they're okay. Gonna replace the others now. Also went to the parts store and uh, got some of the grease because I was like messing around with these boots and I ruined a bunch of grease. So I'm gonna do that, throw it back together and then I can finally drive without a squeak. Quick guide on how to get the outer joints off on a Honda, so just like you're gonna see this is the main part of the bearing right here, you're just gonna use one of these like punches, just gonna like parallel, put it on there and smack it with a hammer so it's gonna jump over the safety pin inside. For the inners you're gonna have to uh, like clean the splines off and there's like a safety pin that you have to put apart and take off and then it comes off. So For this one just smack it off. So I fixed the half shafts and now we're ready, we're driving around and <laughs> today I have a personal driver so I can finally drive around in my own car. So uh, yeah, what do you think right now? Uh, I didn't hit the retake yet, but yeah. it feels solid. It's solid. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, you were the first to drive this car home with 90 horsepower yeah. and everything was shot so... The carburetors and it had... Uh, yeah, the axles were blown out, so it would uh, do crazy noises and uh, it would smoke badly and it was pretty bad. But now, it's, it's drive differently because uh, yeah. the springs and uh, bushings... I, I replaced everything on this yeah, car. Yeah, because that, but I think it has some... Yeah, uh, a few squeaks yeah, to figure out. But at least there's not that annoying squeak that was there last time, so... Gonna hit VTEC now. VTEC, yeah. But you gotta do second gear, otherwise, it's not good. Shifting too early, there's more. It's faster. Yeah, it's pretty good because up until like 5k, it's like, yeah, it pulls good, and then it's like, ah! And it just you starts feel, pulling. You feel the, the yeah. retake kick. Because people say you can't feel the single cam retake, but you really can with this car. You can feel it for sure. Waiting for that retake. was like third gear pull so it's pretty good for what it is it's not exactly B16 or whatever but it's not bad uh, it's a dead trip yep don't crash this <laughs> we're gonna die let's see what the bump say yeah it's, it's okay it's not that for bad. 1991 shocks this is amazing <laughs> it's pretty good and they were pretty blown because I was squeezing them together and yeah, they wouldn't even come apart. So they were pretty bad. I win that time with you. <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Uh, but the Ibach Spring is pretty good. You, sh you should buy. Uh, yeah, should I, buy, uh, I'm getting uh, KYBs. It's like 200 bucks, uh, like Ultra Street set. So okay, that's it's bad. pretty good. One day, first, I think motor mounts and some brakes. Oh. oh, with the speed. Woo! <laughs> when we take it. Oh. The tires are too 
факт. some pictures or something because it's an over car guys and we need to take a million pictures of our cars so why the fuck because we're here already let's take pictures oh look at this nice view look at this mountain. fucking snow yeah but the weather shit it's kind of raining but we made it up here it rips it's pretty good so what do you think, Rover versus Honda Toge? Uh, I will win. <laughs> yeah, we just. I have new tires. So. Yeah, I have 2013 tires. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need, but yeah, we have, definitely need to do it in the dry. But you have definitely better suspension than me. Yeah, because your car is stock. And I have VTEC, but that's about it. So. I have uh, a little bit more torque, probably. Yeah. Because but you also have a the low range. You also have a little bit more weight because you have AC, power steering, yeah, all that shit. But I have nothing. So yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Just one more thing: we have to install wind visors up there. I'm gonna do you that. Know what? Problem is in skill, not in the power. Yeah, of course. If you have to, uh, close, yeah. close turns. So, so how, how much and balls you have and how much do you know the road? I, I do know some yeah. good roads, but he needs to... I have to practice, because yeah. this is my first real toge car. Yeah. The only car I really toged before was the Calibra, which is not exactly handling wise. And uh, I had the 1.4 Civic, which was not exactly fast, so and it did a stock. The Honda's awesome, everybody approves. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, nice view. So let's take some pics. Okay, today I want to put on these wind deflectors from Team Heco. So these have mixed reviews because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I had a set, they were a nightmare, so hopefully these go well. They were 20 bucks, so let's give them a try. Okay, Heco deflectors fitment report. Got the drivers done. It's a pretty good fitment, I'd say. Those clips are nightmare, they suck. The passenger side, this bottom part. It's pushing on this rubber right there as you can see and it kind of prevents from the window going up nicely so I guess I'll have to trim that a little bit but the rears these are pretty garbage look at this fitment you can see the glue they kind of this one kind of hard to get up and then this other one it just it doesn't stay it doesn't want to go up anymore because there's not a lot of behind this rubber so I don't know we'll put some glue in here and try to get them up but for right now just the fronts and they work okay like it gets a little hard at the top you can see that right there it gets a little harder but works um, so I guess I'll just lube up the channels so it'll go up easier and yeah it's decent but don't pay more than 20 bucks for this because it's pretty stupid out in the middle of nowhere in the fog taking some pictures we went to get some sprays of course some parts shit like that looking good these deflectors are on they kind of fit well now I have to send this one pretty much down because it didn't fit for shit the rear one's not on because they fit terribly and uh, this side it's pretty good not bad I looped up the rails and the window goes up fine also bought some bumper sprays and you know regular paint supplies so let's go and paint some shit and now you will need a girlfriend to picture with the car this will be perfect maybe no, <laughs> no? Okay. weight reduction <laughs> yeah Heating up the paint, we're gonna paint this color. 
amazing. I hope this is good. Ooh, nice. It's almost done. Yeah, just nice first coat and then we're gonna and wait for it to dry a little bit up. and then we're gonna do it again. So first comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's been one second. So you can tell us what you're gonna do with this new car in 2019. Hey look, Rover guy sent me a picture of his new toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, <laughs> we're painting. <laughs> He's building a house while we're painting plastic covers yes. for this piece of shit. Yes. <laughs> I ask you, you one thing. What will you do in 2019? I will drive it because every year we just work on cars <laughs> and then it's winter and then we drive them. And then I put them in the garage and I don't drive them. So yes. this year hopefully we're gonna... No, it will not be in garage because this piece of shit is in garage. Yeah. And I pay for a garage so I can get We need to sell something. We're going now to one drink and because he is. Oh my god, them hot chocolate. <laughs> because I did all this he... work. 235 euros of parts, so I only have like 80 left. I have like two cars and I have to pay rent for one. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> and I just want the spray paint, so I have like even less than me. Maybe you will rent those uh, cars that you have. Maybe. If any yeah, you have four cars uh, if you rent three of them. If anybody pays good <laughs> scrap metal, I have plenty. <laughs> This cover looks sick with the structure bumper spray, so we're gonna put this on. Also, put on some slaps, of course. No safe words in this bitch. And also, fresh Aero Trash Life stickers, so we made these. I gave him some sparkle. I don't know if you can see them on the ladders, but it has a pretty nice sparkle depending on which way you look at it. And these are high quality, these are like the best vinyl you can get so you can buy this right now we put them out pretty cheap the price also includes free shipping to anywhere so get one of these you'll also get a thank you letter with it because we thank you for your support so get yours now link in the description airtrashlife.bigcartel.com this just goes on and ground down the lip so you can install it without taking the valve car off that's great. Let's get this on. Pretty pleased with the results. Looks stealthy and nice. Just need to do the bottom part. New motor mount coming soon. I just spent a ton of money on this stuff, so that's gonna be another time. But it takes a while because they're custom made, I guess, to order. So when they come in, I'm gonna do that. For right now, this is good. Everything works well, drives nice. Few clunks here and there. I guess I need to tighten up some stuff, but. This thing's awesome, I took it around some twists and turns and it does what I want it to do, so very happy. I think we're going to a meet <laughs> with the with trash gang. Junk cars. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> When's the BMW video coming? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Maybe next month? Next month? Not next month, come on. It's just on the videos yes. and nobody watches them. We need BMW I'm video. I'm waiting for parts from... Um, Deutschland and something. Where is the Try favorite it. video now? Yeah. Skoda. It's coming. Yeah, he's poor, whatever. I'm gonna eat my bacon fries, so... <laughs> the meat was whatever, so... Tell everyone to go buy our stickers. <laughs> okay, go buy our, sti your, yeah. our stickers. Look. And noise. Wow. Diarrhea Express. So we can bought more parts for BMW. Yeah. And like our videos and shit. <laughs> <laughs>